Hello, in this video, we'll be looking at global exception handling in ASP.NET Core. Without wasting time, let's get started. I have Visual Studio 2019 open here. Go to File, New, New Project, ASP.NET Core Web Application. Select Next. I'm going to call it Exception Sample. Create. I'm going to select the API templates great okay so now the first thing we're going to do is create a controller that has uh, the method for our errors i like to separate things just for clarity you can put this in any way you like but in this case i'll be going with uh, a separate controller for for the for any error related uh purpose so i create select a new uh, select an empty controller here and click hard. So I'm going to call it error controller and click hard. Okay, so now we have uh, one action result method here. Uh, let's go ahead and change this to log error. Um, let's give it a route. A route, let's call it PI error. Then what we're going to do at this point is, first of all, we want to get hold of the details of the exception that occur. So that is in the I exception handler uh, feature uh, in the ASP.NET core diagnostic uh, namespace. So I'm going to do uh, exception future feature and set it to the HTTP context. That's features. Let's get here. Yeah, we're going to get it from the high exception and uh, part feature. I'm going to resolve this, so the namespace. So we've gotten hold of. The exception that happened uh, at this point, let's say, get hold of the ex exception that occurred. Then, next thing we want to do is we want to check if we're able to get any information from uh, the exception if the exception feature is null or not. So, if ex feature is not equal to null then we want to extract some information from this guy so uh, the first thing we want to do is want to get get the part where the error occurred so we're going to say let's put it in a string variable, string part equals ex feature dot part. Then next we want to get the exact exception that happened. Um, get the Get the exception and uh, put this in the exception. I call it e hex because the x feature dot error. Now, now that we have 
the information that we need we can do uh, any other thing here for example we can try to to log this log in a, a flat file or the storage in the next video we'll be looking at uh serilog so we had in serilog to this so but at this stage what we want to do is we want to uh, return this information in a uh, presentable manner so what we're going to do is let's put this in an object um, let's say silver error equals to uh, new anonymous type here say error message equals ex dot message and uh, let's say hero part plus ex uh, let's call it part we already have the part here okay Then the last thing I want to do is if uh, ex feature is null, or before that, let's let's return uh, a bad request. Say so return bad requests, and um, passing our error object. Uh, you can return any other uh, HTTP uh, results, but in this case, you just want to make use of a bad request. So if uh, the exception feature here is null, all you just want to do is to return bad requests. Okay, so now the next thing I want to do is I want to set the middleware uh to use this um to use this method to handle exception so we we'll go to our startup.cs go down to this to the configure part and uh we see here that we are already making use of the developer exception page so at runtime what we we'll do is we we'll say help um let's use the session handler Let's use exception handler and uh, we'll pass in the route that we are using. Okay, so at runtime, this will pick the error and uh, send it to our error controller uh, to do login or to format it in a, in a nicer form. But uh, for the sake of test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this to the development uh, portion. So I'm going to comment that out and I'm going to comment this out too and just say use exception handler uh, if you're in development. So for us to be able to test, what I'm going to do is set this to release. And um, we know that we have a default controller here called values. Uh, this is the default uh, controller that it's getting called right now. So at this point, I'm going to try to create an error. I can try to throw an exception, or let me just create, let me just create an action that will throw an exception. So let's say string, string has equals C equals, um, hello and uh, let's try to do int dot pass s so let's, let's say int h equals in the pass s so setting this to release 
Nope, now I'm going to run. Let's see what we have. So I'm going to select continue debugging. So you can see we have input string was not in a correct format and the part is API slash values. So you can see how we've been able to undo the exception from a different controller. So anywhere the exception occur in your application, the middleware is going to get hold of it and pass it to the hero controller that you've created. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you.